Hey, it's Earthcastle. What makes a map good? You might think it's the layout, lighting, or maybe even the visuals, but a very underrated part of maps are the sound. Hearing loud machinery in a factory, water drops on a rainy day, or birds chirping in the wilderness outside the map. These can all add to the player's experience with the map, and make them feel so much more immersed. Which is why today I'm going to teach you how to make sounds and soundscapes in the Hammer Editor. Sounds being isolated noises coming from point, and soundscapes being general ambience from things far away. I'll go over sounds first. To make a sound, place down an entity and change it to an ambient underscore generic entity. The first thing you'll probably notice is the sphere radius around the entity. This controls from what distance you can hear it, with anything inside the radius being the loudest, and the sound getting silenter the further you are outside the radius and to the entity. You can change this to whatever you want. To choose what sound you want the entity to make, go into its properties, click on sound name and browse. This should bring up a list of all sounds the entity can make. Say for example you want the sound of garage door opening or a siren going off, you can search for that. You can also tweak around with other properties to make sure it's how you want, like making it loop or start silent. Then just place the entity where you want your sound to be and it should work. Now on to soundscapes. First, place an entity and change it into an env underscore soundscape. You can also change the radius of this similar to the ambient generic. You may think you can go into the settings and select a soundscape, but it's a little harder than that. The entity doesn't provide a list of soundscapes, so you'll have to find them yourself. I'd recommend watching this video on all soundscapes from Half-Life 2 and picking one you like. After you've found the soundscape, you're pretty much done. However, this isn't the only type of soundscape. This soundscape only plays when you're in direct line of sight with it, which some people may not want. Instead, you can use an env underscore soundscape underscore triggerable. Just add underscore triggerable to the end of your entity and all values should carry over. With this entity, you can make a trigger brush around the area you want the sound to be coming from, make the trigger brush into a trigger underscore soundscape, name your soundscape, and then select the soundscape in the brush's properties. You need the soundscape entity for this or else it won't work. This will make the soundscape play in the radius of the brush. And you're done. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed make sure to check out my other Hammer content and that's all for now. See ya.